it's Simone here. Today in this video, I'm chefing things up. We're gonna be cooking, well baking really in our case, a New York style cheesecake. So being from New York, it's really important that every New Yorker knows how to bake a New York style cheesecake. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and put my apron on. So next you're gonna need the butter that I have is unsalted butter and each little cube is four tablespoons. Next you should have a cup and a half of graham crackers, put a whole stack in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so go ahead and grab a bowl. Okay. Make sure you have six tablespoons of butter. So now you're gonna need one tablespoon of sugar, a pinch of ground cinnamon, uh, sprinkle a little bit, and then you want a pinch of salt. Okay, so next you wanna go ahead and just mix Okay, so you're gonna need foil paper and you're gonna need a release pan. And then you just wanna go ahead and just crinkle, wrap the bottom. Even though this is a non-stick pan, you should also use um, Bake Easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just pour all the graham crackers in here. After you finish forming the crust, put it in the oven for eight minutes, let it cool for five outside of the oven, and then put it into the fridge until you're ready to use it. I'm gonna be using some cream cheese. This is the Publix brand. You can use any cream cheese you want, but it was much more price friendly. As the cream cheese is being mixed, be sure to stop the machine and scrape off any cream cheese that may be stuck on the flat beater. Now you're gonna need two tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. Throw that in there. Oh, oh. Turn your thing on low, sorry. You're gonna want a little dash of salt. Lots of eggs. <laughs> to be exact, you're gonna need five, I believe. They should be room temperature as well, so I had them sitting out for quite some time. I'm gonna put my oven up to 400 now. Okay, and then that's gonna sit out for about five minutes before we go ahead and put that into the fridge. I'm gonna do one egg at a time. I'm gonna let each egg mix in properly before I go ahead and add the next one's one. You're gonna need one third cup of sour cream and just keep the mixer on mixing. Um, make sure it's on a low speed or it will create air bubbles. Okay, so get your vanilla. And you need two teaspoons of this. Next, I'm gonna add one and a half cup of granulated sugar into the mixture. Again, make sure you're going back in and scraping up any unmixed batter off the bottom of the bowl and on the sides of the bowl. Mm -hmm. 
Take your crust out the fridge and pour the filling into the crust. seeing a little bit of air bubble that you guys can see they say you shouldn't have any of these so I'm gonna just try to like push them out hopefully this does the job I'm just gonna try to comb out some of the air bubbles not sure if this is making it better or worse but just bring them more to the surface the whole point they say that you shouldn't have any cracks Okay, so I really hope that this comes out really good. I'm really hoping. I've never made cheesecake, but I've always heard that it's so hard to make. And there's so many like oopsies or they didn't do it right or they missed a step or it cracked or, you know, whatever. I always hear cheesecake is really hard to make. So I hope this came out really good. Um, this is my first time making this. Um, I was really confused on the part where it said five eggs and two egg yolk. Um, I hope I did that part right because I saved the egg whites right here. Or so, this is how it looks the next day. Um, never mind that. <laughs> I kind of touched it with my hand because I didn't know what the texture was supposed to feel like. What you want to do next is go around the cheesecake with a warmed up knife. So I'm just going to get me a cup um, and fill it with some warm water. Okay, so with the cup of warm water, um, I'm going to go ahead and stick my knife in it, wipe off the water, and just go around to make sure it's not stuck to the pan. So that when I release it, there's no issues. Okay, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and just open up this pan. Ooh, how cool! Wow. Wow. This is so cool. It just smells so good. It literally smells so, 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 so good. This side is very brown. I feel like from my oven, I probably should have had it um, up a little bit more than 450 because mine uh, just, I feel like it doesn't really work that well in my oven. But yes, now we're going to go ahead and do the finishing touch on this. All right, so I have my cheesecake. It's all finished. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, it looks pretty, 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 pretty good. I have the the metal thing underneath that came attached to the pan. I have that still underneath the cheesecake, so it looks really good. I want to go ahead and put the strawberries on it, um, just to give it that finished look. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of do my own thing, <laughs> so don't um, judge me. So for my strawberries, I already have them washed. I had them sitting in the fridge. Nice and fresh and they're sweet, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the stems off because I hate eating strawberries, uh, cheesecake with the stem on. I don't care if that's how it's supposed to be done. I'm gonna get a bowl. I'm gonna be using Smucker's. Um, buy an accident, but <laughs> sugar-free. Um, so make sure you do not buy sugar-free. That was a huge accident that I did. I'm just gonna put my strawberries in this. And then I'm just gonna take a spoon to kind of just glaze. I should have cut them in half beforehand, but it works better. You probably should cut them in half if you want them more. free to skip the whipped cream part because it's not gonna last long <laughs> I just did it for um, Pinterest and presentation mm. 
Mmm, pretty good. This tastes really good. I wish y'all could taste this because this is delicious. This is really good, I promise you guys. And the crust, the crust is so good. And graham crackery. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I was a little confused sometimes, but obviously I just had to trust myself. Really, 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 really love this. And I cannot wait to make another video for you guys. So tell me if you want more cooking videos, specifically bacon and treats. Let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video.